Hello students, let's do another optimization problem, which is section 4.7. We are asked to find points on the ellipse 4x squared plus y squared equals 4 that are farthest away from the point 1, 0. So what you want to do first is do your best to come up with a graph of this ellipse. And what you want to do is just use the x and y intercepts. The x intercepts are plus or minus 1. The y intercepts are plus or minus 2. So here's our ellipse, and we want to find points on this ellipse that are furthest away from the point 1, 0, which happens to be one of our x-intercepts. So I think that we're going to get two answers here. One of them is going to be in the second quadrant, and the other is going to be in the third quadrant. So that's so question mark, that's, that's what we expect. So keep in mind with these optimization problems, what's happening is we're trying to maximize or minimize something subject to a constraint. So in this problem, we want to maximize the distance from some ordered pair x, y. We don't know what they are yet, but we expect there to be two of them. Okay, we want to maximize the distance from the ordered pair x, y to the ordered pair 1, 0 subject to a constraint. Well, the constraint is we have to be on the ellipse. That's the constraint. So it's subject to 4x squared plus y squared is equal to 4. Now, distance. You all know the distance formula. Okay, so the distance from xy to 1, 0 is the square root of x minus 1 squared plus y minus 0 squared. So our Q, remember our game plan for optimization, we want to maximize or minimize something that's called that Q. I know we're trying to maximize the distance, but what you should realize in this case is that if you maximize the radicand, you maximize this distance because the, dis the square root is an increasing function. So you can ignore the square root, okay? So, to make this simpler, we will maximize, we will maximize x minus one squared plus y squared, subject to the constraint 4x squared plus y squared is equal to 4. So I'm trying to maximize something that is a function of more than one variable. And because this is only calc 1, not calc 3, what I have to do now is get q in terms of only one variable. And the way I do that is uh, use my constraint. So Q is, let's see, X minus one, the quantity squared, that is 
x squared minus 2x plus 1. And we have plus y squared. But if I solve for y squared, what I get is 4 minus 4x four squared. So this is plus 4 minus 4x squared. So combine like terms. Q ends up being negative 3x squared minus 2x plus 5. Now you should realize that this is a quadratic function and the coefficient of x squared is negative, so this is a parabola opening downwards, so we do indeed have a maximum. Okay, that's important. Q prime is negative 6x minus 2. Find the critical numbers. Okay, only one critical number. X is equal to negative 1 third. And again, we already know it's going to have a maximum because of, of what we know about this function. But we didn't really know that you'd have to uh, use, use the first derivative test to ensure that this corresponds to a maximum. So what I'm telling you is that the maximum Q occurs when x equals negative one third. Now go back to our picture or our graph. We expect two answers, right? And for both of them, the x coordinate is negative. Okay. So the question asked for, you know, the points, plural, on the ellipse that are furthest away from the point one zero. So what we're asking right now is what is y? Well, remember that 4x squared plus y squared is equal to 4. That's the equation of the ellipse. Well, if x is negative 1 third, x squared is 1 ninth. So y squared is... Four minus four ninths, and let's see, four is thirty six ninths, thirty six minus four is thirty two, so we get thirty two ninths. So solving for y, what do we get? y is equal to plus or minus. The square root of 32 can be simplified because 32 is 16 times 2. So we get as plus or minus 4 times the square root of 2 over 3. So as, as uh, expected, we're getting two different y values, one positive, one negative. So the two points that are furthest away from the point one zero on this ellipse are negative one third and positive four times the square root of two over three and negative one third negative four times the square root of two over three here again we have some symmetry in this problem okay. so we actually found the exact value of these two ordered pairs.